This, folks, was breaking news earlier today. So earlier today, Stella Assange, Julian's wife, of course, uh, tweeted out the following. I will share a statement shortly. Free Assange now. So the first thing I thought was, oh, God, did, did the worst happen? But then I'm like, well, if you put the free Assange hashtag, probably not. Thank God. And then I thought, hey, maybe the best has happened. Maybe Biden actually dropped the charges. Or maybe the United States failed to give the proper conditions and guarantees to the UK government such that Julian would get another full hearing. Turns out that's not what happened. So this is bad news today. Assange extradition moves closer as U.S. provides UK court with assurances. So just to set things up very quickly, it broke, uh, I think, a few weeks, maybe about a month ago, uh, that in response to the Day X hearing, the UK court ruled that they would not extradite Assange to the U.S. unless the U.S. could make certain guarantees for his treatment when he got here. So now they have submitted those guarantees, which means that on May 20th, Julian has one more chance to basically argue that these guarantees are bullshit. And past that point, he would be on his way here. The United States has provided assurances requested by the High Court in London, which could finally pave the way for WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange to be extradited from Britain. Last month, the High Court ruled that without certain U.S. guarantees, Assange 52 would be allowed to launch a new appeal against being extradited to face 18 charges, all bar one under the Espionage Act, over WikiLeaks' release of confidential U.S. military records and diplomatic cables. Those assurances that in a U.S. trial he could rely on the First Amendment right to free speech and that there was no prospect of new charges which could see the death penalty being imposed have now been submitted by a deadline which fell on Tuesday. They were also supposed to guarantee he wouldn't be discriminated based on his nationality, which seemed like a strange provision to put in there in the first place. I, I, I mean, it, to be fair, we still haven't forgiven Australia for Yahoo serious. That is true. That is a good point. The document seen by Reuters stated that Assange would be able to rely on First Amendment protections and said that a sentence of death will neither be sought nor imposed. These assurances are binding on any and all present or subsequent individuals to whom authority has been delegated to decide the matters, it said. There will now be a further court hearing in London on May 20th, but his lawyers have previously described U.S. assurances given in other cases as, quote, not worth the paper they're written on, echoing similar criticism from human rights group Amnesty International. Assange's wife, Stella, whom he married while in prison in London, said the guarantees did not satisfy their concerns, describing them as blatant weasel words. So she tweeted this out. Uh, this was the statement that she teased out earlier in the day. Quote, the United States has issued a non-assurance in relation to the First Amendment and a standard assurance in relation to the death penalty, she said in a statement. Now, at first, I took her literally and thought, maybe this is good news. Maybe they denied his First Amendment guarantee, right. which means the right. UK court would grant them another full hearing. Right. But that's not how she meant it. She meant it rightfully, that it's a bullshit guarantee, and now they're going to have right. to argue that in court. Right. Uh, the diplomatic note does nothing to relieve our family's extreme distress about his future. His grim expectation of spending the rest of his life in isolation in U.S. prison for publishing award-winning journalism. Last week, U.S. President Joe Biden said he was considering a request from Australia to drop the prosecution, which Assange's U.S. lawyer described as encouraging. It was not clear what influence, if any, Biden could exert on a criminal case. What do you mean? He could direct his DOJ to drop the charges. What do you mean he can't exert? I mean, that's a bullshit right. comment. Uh, but the Wall Street Journal has also reported that discussions are underway about a potential plea bargaining deal. So in light of this terrible news, I want to take a second look at this video. Now, many of you guys, if not most of you guys, have probably seen this already, especially since, Russell, uh, we covered this on the Jimmy Show last week. But uh, this plays a little different now, given this news. Here's Joe Biden saying he's considering dropping the charges against Julian Assange. President Biden, do you have a response to Australia's request that you end Julian Assange's prosecution? I didn't hear you. Uh, do you have a response to Australia's request that you end Julian Assange's prosecution? We're considering. We're considering. Do you have so, 
I suspected at the time that he's probably not considering it, that he just said that to blow that guy off, which yeah. I got to say, really a low quality thing to do. Really a, a pretty dog shit example of a human being to so flippantly and dismissively answer a question of that level of importance, so much so as to give false hope to the legal team, to Julian himself, perhaps, and to the family. Just say, yeah, yeah, we're considering it. Like, if you're going to be a total fucking scumbag, as everybody expected you to be, and say, no, we're not dropping the charges, you should have just said that rather than give this bullshit answer. Yeah, we're, we're yeah, whatever. Get out of here. That was the subtext of what he said. Even though on a textual uh, level, it made headlines. Oh, they're considering a pardon. As soon as I saw that video, I'm like, no, he's just saying it to get rid of this guy. Well, well, sure. I, You know, something we don't even get into very <laughs> much because his brains are leaking out his ears. So one tends not to impart agency to somebody who clearly is in severe cognitive decline. Um, but the inside word on Biden was he was always a prickly asshole. Yeah. It was just that was just a dick that he was a very difficult person to work with. He was nasty to staff. He acted um, like a dick. Those speeches that he gave in the 80s and 90s, I mean, it's not, it doesn't surprise you that he was friends with segregationists. He sounds oh, like yeah. a segregationist of in those old does. speeches. He of sounds like he a does. fish out of water. He sounds it, like a guy who's talking in the It doesn't matter what the reason is. If yeah, they're exactly. going to bop your mom yeah, on the exactly. head, you know, just playing to every every trope. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, he's, uh, he's a piece of shit. And you see it come out in certain moments like that. That having been said, if there's a hopeful thing, I, I do agree with you that they don't want this guy to die in an election year on his watch. And they might wind up because they are having so much trouble, particularly with younger voters and people who are nominally left who still vote Democrat. Um, they, they could do it. Like, I feel like this is two different tracks. I feel like you got the Justice Department drafting what I always thought they would because that's such a low bar to meet. Yeah, we love the First Amendment over here. But what are they going to say? No, we're not going to. Yeah. No, we're going to no, try no, you no. in a we're U.S. court with the First no. Amendment. <laughs> yeah, we're going to suspend the First Amendment in your case. Right. right. It was such an easy bar to meet. So I think both things are probably true. I think the Justice Department, you know, they're they're bureaucrats doing their job. Yeah, no, First Amendment's fine, and we're not going to seek the death penalty, which I'm sure is true. I'm sure they were never considering the death penalty for this. Um, but, uh, you know, then for political reasons, I think there probably is very well an actual conversation going on about a plea deal, not a pardon, a plea deal. Yes, I think there there might very well be. And uh, look, obviously the hope is that they drop these charges altogether, Time is now of the essence. Uh, the thing is, if they were going to drop the charges, why would they submit these guarantees? Like, why wouldn't I, they just fucking do it? Because time is of the essence. I mean, the guy is in deteriorating health. Uh, his wife says if he's extradited, he won't make it to the U.S. He'll probably die. The guy's well, already could, had Well, that strokes. could also be to get yeah. leverage to get him to take a plea instead of to insist on a trial. Yeah, I mean, that's playing a very dangerous game, but... Uh, I guess they are not opposed to doing it that way. No. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not. Yeah. I mean, the further you push it, every day is taking the ultimate risk when sure. you're talking about, you know, the, the shape that, that he's in. Please clap. 